Do you remember that magical moment when you first stumbled upon the iconic 1989 TV series, Saved by the Bell? It was like discovering a hidden treasure chest of teenage dreams and unforgettable adventures. Perhaps it was a lazy sunny morning, and you were huddled in front of the television, still wrapped in the cozy warmth of your favorite blanket. Or maybe it was a random weekday afternoon, and the familiar jingle of the theme song whisked you away from the humdrum of daily life. Wherever you were, whoever you were with, that initial encounter with Zack, Kelly, Slater, Screech, Jesse, and Lisa left an indelible mark on your heart. For many of us, Saved by the Bell was more than just a TV show. It was a time capsule, a portal to a world where high school dilemmas, friendship, and teenage romance took center stage. The Bayside Tigers and their escapades at the Max were etched into our collective memory, reminding us of the simple joys of youth. Now, let's dive into some fascinating tidbits about the show. Those behind-the-scenes secrets and incredible facts that made Saved by the Bell an enduring classic. From the origin of Zack's iconic brick phone to the unexpected inspirations for some of the show's unforgettable catchphrases, get ready to be captivated by the untold stories that shaped this beloved series. So, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to embark on a nostalgic journey through the halls of Bayside High, and revisit those cherished moments that made Saved by the Bella Timeless Gem. Get ready for a dose of trivia that will make you see your favorite teenage gang in a whole new light. New light. New light. New light. Saved by the Bell, a beloved 1989 TV series, emerged as a cultural touchstone of the late 80 seconds and early 90 seconds. Originating from a previous show titled Good Morning, Miss Bliss, the series relocated to the fictional Bayside High School in sunny California, where it followed the lives of a group of teenagers, led by Zach Morris, the charming but mischievous protagonist, played by Mark Paul Dosselar. The show featured an ensemble cast of iconic characters, including Kelly Kapowski, A.C. Slater, Jesse Spano, Lisa Turtle, and the endearingly geeky Screech Powers. What set Saved by the Bell apart was its unique blend of lighthearted humor, moral lessons, and teen-centric storylines. Each episode often revolved around relatable issues faced by adolescents, delivering wholesome messages about friendship, responsibility, and personal growth. The show's signature style included fourth wall breaks, Zack's ability to freeze time to address the audience, and the iconic timeout moments. These elements made the series both entertaining and memorable. Saved by the Bell left an indelible mark on popular culture. Its catchphrases, like I'm so excited, I'm so scared from Jess's caffeine pill addiction episode, became part of the cultural lexicon. The show's fashion trends, including scrunch socks and neon colors, reflected the fashion of the era. The characters and their experiences resonated with a generation of viewers, shaping their understanding of teenage life. In conclusion, Saved by the Bell remains an enduring classic that not only captured the spirit of its time but also continues to resonate with audiences today, thanks to its relatable characters, unique style, and lasting impact on popular culture. 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 In 1989, the TV series Saved by the Bell burst onto the screen, but did you know it almost had a different cast? Jenny Garth, Jaleel White, Jonathan Brandes, and Brian Austin Green were among those who auditioned for the show. Surprisingly, White, Brandies, and Green all appeared in the pilot episode for Good Morning, Miss Bliss. The show itself underwent a significant transformation. It initially followed Good Morning, Miss Bliss, set at John F. Kennedy Jr. High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, but that got canceled after just 14 episodes. NBC decided to retool the series, shifting it to Bayside High School in Pacific Palisades, California, and axed several characters. Only Dennis Haskins, Mark Paul Gosselar, Dustin Diamond, and Lark Voorhees made the transition. Interestingly, the show never explained the move to California, sparking a fan theory that it's all a daydream of Zach Morris, a slacker who imagines himself as a cool kid who can do anything. This theory points to the show's theme song and Zach's unique timeout ability to stop time and break the fourth wall. Despite their on-screen friendship, Mark Paul Dosselar and Dustin Diamond had no real-life relationship outside of work. However, Gosselar did share some kind words for Diamond on social media after the latter's passing. 
which was a contrast to most other cast members who remained silent. Saved by the Bell is a show filled with interesting behind-the-scenes stories and fan theories, making it a timeless classic for viewers of all ages. 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 In 1989, the iconic TV series Saved by the Bell burst onto screens, leaving an indelible mark on pop culture. While it's known for its memorable characters and zany high school adventures, some lesser-known facts add depth to the show's history. One intriguing aspect is that after the series ran in syndication, it cleverly repurposed footage from Good Morning, Miss Bliss. This early version of the show featured some of the same characters, but was set in junior high. In Saved by the Bell, these flashback segments showcased Zach Morris reminiscing about his junior high years, providing viewers with a nostalgic glimpse into the show's origins. Moreover, the show's immense popularity is highlighted by a remarkable statistic. Just four weeks after its debut, NBC's research revealed that a staggering 50% of teenage girls in the United States were tuning in to watch Saved by the Bell. This widespread appeal among teenage girls solidified the show's status as a cultural phenomenon. Behind the scenes, executive producer Peter Engel had a different vision for one of the show's key characters. O.C. Slater was originally conceived as a John Travolta-type character. However, the casting process hit a roadblock when suitable white actors couldn't be found. This led Angel to broaden the search, resulting in the casting of Mario Lopez as A.C. Slater. Lopez's portrayal added a fresh and diverse dimension to the show, reflecting the changing landscape of American television. Saved by the Bell remains a beloved series that captured the hearts of viewers across generations. Its creative use of flashbacks, massive teenage girl viewership, and inclusive casting choices are just a few of the fascinating facts that make this show a timeless classic. 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 In 1989, the TV series Saved by the Bell burst onto the screens and became a pop culture sensation. Here are some interesting facts about the show. Syndication success. Mark Paul Dosselar, who played Zach Morris, revealed on Larry King now that Saved by the Bell achieved its fame through syndication. Surprisingly, the show was cancelled after each of its first five seasons. But once it hit syndication, it found a devoted audience and became a beloved classic. The reused set, every classroom scene in the series was filmed on the same set. Whether it was a math class or a history lesson, the familiar backdrop remained constant, a cost-saving technique that many viewers might not have noticed. The name Dilemma, before the show's creation, NBC president Brandon Tartikoff suggested the name use the word bell, like when the bell rings. However, one of the show's producers suggested the name Saved by the Bell, which Tartikoff liked. Producer Peter Engel wasn't initially a fan of the name but went along with it, thinking someone else might own the rights to the phrase. To their surprise, NBC's legal department discovered that nobody owned the rights to the phrase. The next day, Engel's office was adorned with large banners that read Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell may have had its ups and downs during its production, but it remains an iconic series that has left a lasting mark on television history. The 1989 TV series Saved by the Bell was a teenage sensation that left its mark on pop culture. Here are some intriguing facts about the show, Teenage Dominance. At its peak, Saved by the Bell drew more teenage viewers on Saturday mornings than The Cosby Show, which was the top-rated primetime show at that time. This underlines the immense popularity the series enjoyed among its target audience. Real-life romance, while Kelly was Zack's girlfriend on screen, Mark Paul Dosselar, who played Zack, was in a real-life relationship with Lark Voorhees, who portrayed Lisa. They dated for three years, including during the filming of Saved by the Bell, Hawaiian style, as revealed in several interviews by Gosselar. O.C. Slater's full name, Mario Lopez character, A.C. Slater had a full name that wasn't commonly known. O.C. stood for Albert Clifford, a tidbit that many fans might not have realized during the show's run. Saved by the Bell was more than just a TV show. It was a cultural phenomenon that captivated teenage audiences and left a lasting legacy in the world of television. In the 1989 TV series Saved by the Bell, a couple of intriguing facts add depth to the show's behind-the-scenes dynamics. Fact 1. Elizabeth Berkley, who later became known for her role in Showgirls, originally auditioned for the role of Kelly Kapowski. 
However, she didn't land the part. Instead, producers were so impressed with her that they created the character Jessie Spano specifically for her. It's a testament to her talent that she left her mark on the show in such a significant way. Fact 2, Mark Paul Dosselar, who played Zach Morris, had a bit of a romantic history with his co-stars. He dated all three of his female co-stars at different points during the series. First, it was Elizabeth Berkley, followed by Lark Voorhees, and then Tiffany Thiessen. This created some tension among them, to the point where the executive producer had to step in and mediate. There were times when Lark, Elizabeth, and Tiffany weren't on speaking terms, highlighting the challenges of working closely together on a long-running show. These facts provide a glimpse into the interesting dynamics that existed both on and off the set of Saved by the Bell. They show that the show's success wasn't just a result of good acting, but also the chemistry and relationships among the cast members. And for a fun tidbit, in Mr. Belding's office, one of the degrees hanging on the wall is for Kung Fu. You can spot it above the filing cabinet next to his desk, adding a touch of humor and intrigue to the character. These lesser-known facts shed light on the show's history and the people who brought it to life. Saved by the Bell remains a beloved classic, thanks in part to the unique stories and characters that made it memorable. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic journey through the hallways of Bayside High, we're left with more than just memories. We're left with a time capsule of our youth. Saved by the Bell from 1989 will forever hold a special place in our hearts, a testament to the power of timeless storytelling. This iconic series wasn't just about high school, it was about friendship, laughter, and navigating the tumultuous waters of adolescence. It was about those unforgettable moments that shaped our lives, mirroring our own experiences, and teaching us valuable life lessons along the way. Whether you were Team Zack, Kelly, Slater, Screech, Lisa, or Jesse, the characters of Bayside became our companions, making us laugh and cry, and reminding us of the beauty in our own coming-of-age stories. We've all had moments when we wished we could have hung out at the max, chatted with Mr. Belding, or pulled off a legendary Zach Morris timeout. Now, it's your turn. We invite you to reflect on your personal connection with Saved by the Bell. What were your favorite episodes? Which characters resonated with you the most, and why? Did it influence your own high school experience or friendships? Share your cherished memories and thoughts about this beloved series with us, and your fellow fans. In celebrating the nostalgia of Saved by the Bell, we not only cherish the past, but also keep its spirit alive for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. So, what are you waiting for? Let's dive into the world of Bayside one more time, and relive those unforgettable moments that continue to make us smile. Share your thoughts and memories, and let's keep the legacy of Saved by the Bell alive.